Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla Dawn of Ragnarok video. In this episode we are gonna go through the easiest and the fastest way of getting tokens from the arena. But first I'm gonna show you what you don't want to do and it is applying all of the boasts that you can have. You can have 14 in total, two are almost immediately ready to go after getting into the Svartalheim. And why? Because there is no point after applying 4 to 5 posts, if they are highlighted in the greenish color and not grey like the first one was, you are getting actually extra points, at some point they will drop, so you are getting only 10, no matter how many you are using. If you are putting every post that you can, and if you are greedy and want that 500 tokens, good luck and let me know if you did manage to get that easy. Even with the hardest settings, so nightmarish level scaling and the easier difficulty, I'm gonna show really easy way of farming the tokens. And yes, I'm gonna show the gear that I'm using for these ones. I actually couldn't tell if I'm playing on default or nightmarish. This first battle was just a demonstration why you don't want to use every boss that you can for the 100 extra tokens. It is much better of getting 400, 380, something like that by applying just 4 to 5 of these highlighted posts and actually the unarmed also with the damage inflection so you are taking damage every time you are hitting the enemies those are actually pretty pretty solid for future tries. I'll ask you, would you rather see this or this one? So let me know, do you want the 500 or 400 with much less effort? So let's select everything so you can see the amount of the tokens it is dropping getting only 4 to 5 posts we are still getting 400 so it is time for wins and for a few different armor sets that you can use for this one my personal best and my absolute favorite two pieces from the druidic armor set and two pieces from the tanaris armor set also, if you are going for the Karas Peak, Gaibolk, the Medical Spear, with the Loose Spear, the Gaibolk, you are getting from the Wrath of the Druids DLC, it is the best weapon in the game, plus the perk from the Loose Spear, when stunning the enemies, your weapon is ignited, that is the deadliest combination from the spears, in my opinion. Believe it or not, but with these spears, having the Tanaris armor set, with two pieces from the Druidic armor set, if you are gonna use and have to use the unarmed combat, you are still unbeatable in Valkyrie's arena. Having two OP weapons with a backup plan, you are getting Thunderis, the Thunder God of the Island, Thunder Fists, and no matter armed or unarmed from the Druidic set, if you are hitting your enemy three times, you are getting some health back. That is gonna come handy. The first one, as you can see, we are using the spears, so we are not getting the buff from the Tanaris armor set. That was still pretty easy, and all of the tries, they are on the hardest difficulties, so nightmares from the level scaling, and easier from the combat difficulty. Boom, here we go, 3 golden medals and 410 tokens. The setup number 2, so on our combat we are getting the Thunderish buff, Thunder from the fists and you only need 2 pieces, doesn't matter which pieces you do have from this set. You can get this set from the Helix store or just waiting and getting the pieces from Reda for 100 to 120 opals depending on the piece. Getting two bonuses, it is really a smart choice. As we can see here, the Swamp Witches, they were incredibly hard in the main game. 
but here we are taking them down pretty pretty easily even though I was almost dying at the moment but let's go let's go let's see So far, if you have liked the video and find it helpful, leave a comment, hit the like, that would really help me out. Also, in my next video, we are gonna see where to get these posts, every location for a tails, so you can get your tokens much faster and rock that Odin, aka the All Fire Armor set, much faster in early game of Dawn of Ragnarok. The last try. I'm not gonna showcase that further, but we are gonna use the Night Rogue, Crimson, aka the Vampire set, and the buff from that set using Dive Valkyrie. It is OP as well. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.